this video, we are looking at fluid flow or CFD analysis in ANSYS Discovery. We'll be looking at a couple of types of fluid flow analysis, starting with uh, internal flow of a HVAC system. So first step is to import your CAD model. We can import our CAD model from a number of different CAD systems and uh, we can import most uh, CAD formats. So I've imported my CAD model and this could represent um, an AC unit in a, in a vehicle and our goal maybe as a designer is to sort of optimise the, um, the, the flow distribution um, and get an even flow through the, um, through the outlet. So um, I'm going to just um, turn off a couple of components just for the first simulation. And uh, now I can get into my setup. So um, in the simulation tab, I'm looking to do an internal flow so we can use the, uh, the quick start tool here. And this is going to represent my inlet. And this is going to represent my outlet. What this will do is it will automatically create my fluid volume um, and it will automatically create my, um, my setup on the left hand side. Um, I can see straight away that the, um, the, the material is um, set to a liquid or water. I might want to change that to an air. So let's just quickly change that to, to air. So I've changed the material. We can also modify our inlet and our outlet um, values. So you can see here, if I double click on the inlet, we're at the moment just specifying a velocity of 0 0.5 meters per second. Um, but we can change that to mass flow rate, uh, pressure, um, and a swirling flow. So I'm happy with the um, the setup. I'm going to exclude the um, the solid, the outer casing from the simulation because I'm literally just interested in the, the fluid simulation. And um, I'm going to hit the solve button on the right hand side. Within a few seconds, we should start to see some, some results appear. So straight away, we're seeing results. At the moment, we, we are looking at these results as um, as a vector so we can see down here we're looking at vectors and we can modify any of these things um, I might want to look at this as contours and I'm going to change this to to bodies so I can start to see maybe more clearly where that flow distribution is so um, we can clearly see um, just by looking at this on the right hand side we've got less less outflow as you'd probably expect from from the design um, which might not be optimal. The passenger may be getting uh, less of the um, the air conditioning. So um, we can make a few changes. So maybe a designer, you might first make a change. Maybe if I increase the size of this radius here and just use my modeling tool, such as the pull tool to modify that radius, instantly my fluid volume will update and the simulation will re-simulate uh, and we'll start to get new results. So, it has had an effect and we can clearly see the effect that increasing that rad has has had it has it is distributing flow more uh, evenly but we are still getting um, less less flow to the right hand side so you might want to make another change um, in this instance i'm going to actually set up a new simulation so i'm going to go to here and set new and we can jump back between our our simulations if we need to um, and I'm going to remove my old fluid volume or we can hide it, but I'm just going to delete it and I'm going to turn on this, uh, this fin. So I'm going to use a fin to sort of potentially separate the, um, the flow. And now I'm going to set up my simulation again. So this is my inlet. This is my outlet that should recreate the fluid volume and we can clearly see the, the fin and um, straight away I can hit the solve button. And we'll start to get some results and we can see the effect that that new design is having on the um, on the distribution of air. So looking at vectors, let's change that again to contours and I'll change it to, to bodies. So we can clearly see now the effect that fin is having. It is clearly separating that flow and it is directing more flow to the passenger side of this of this AC unit. Um, we may be getting an area here in the center where there might not be as much um, air. So again, you could modify the fin and uh, make it make some more changes and uh, in, investigate those very, very quickly. So um, this is just a quick example of internal flow with ANSYS Discovery and how quick you can um, investigate multiple designs. So in this simulation, we'll be running an external uh, flow. And so first of all, I'm going to open up um, a model. 
So this is meant to represent a, a vehicle. Uh, please ignore the, um, the dodgy sort of modeling, um, but just gives you an idea of what we can do in ANSYS Discovery. So I'm gonna use my quick start tool again to set up an external flow. So we use this tool here. Where is the, the flow coming from? So I'm gonna specify this direction and then we're gonna specify, uh, specify a floor. This will in create an, an enclosure around my, um, my model, in this instance, a vehicle. And um, straight away, again, we can modify our inlet settings and our outlet settings, um, and we can specify um, a material. Let's again change this to, to air to represent maybe a wind tunnel. And we can hit the solve button. Within a few seconds, we're gonna to start to get some results. Um, at the moment, I'm looking at contours. Let's just change this to vectors so we can start to see how the air flows over this part. If we were looking at contours, we might want to section our model and we can get a better idea of um, the, the flow over the part. We can modify any of our values on the right hand side. Um, we can also increase the, um, the fidelity. Um, at the moment, the simulation is still converging. Um, we can always increase the, um, the fidelity of our simulation. So what we might be investigating here is the, um, the, the rear of the part, maybe the wake, the wake flow on the, um, on the rear of this vehicle and potentially what effect maybe adding um, something, um, maybe a spoiler may have on, on the model. So, um, so again, we can see this here. We can also view um, a direction field. So we can see this if I rotate this round. So that might give us a better idea of what's happening at the wake of or the rear of the vehicle for this wake flow. So um, in this instance, this vehicle hasn't got a spoiler. Maybe I've just designed one. I'm going to turn now. I'm going to now turn on my spoiler. So we can see here. This is going to represent the spoiler. I'm now going to include it in the simulation. This will instantly um, update the simulation. We will start to get new results um, very very shortly, and we can start to see. The effect that that spoiler has on the on the weight flow of this um, of this simulation. So uh, again, the simulation is still converging, but we can clearly see um, the effect that that um, that has had on on the weight flow in this in this instance. So that's just a very very quick example of how you can use ANSYS Discovery to study um, internal flow as well. Um, hopefully, this video has given you an idea of CFD in ANSYS Discovery and, and the capabilities. Um, and if you've got any questions, feel free to put them in the comments.